Good morning by a minute. It's about to, it's 11.59, so it's technically morning still. We are preparing for our friend Chelsea to come over and meet our bebe. And we're preparing by watching the new Taylor Swift Folklore studio recording jam sesh that came out on Disney Plus today. Did you know Sarah's favorite thing is when I leave this strap in the shot? <laughs> this came in the mail. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, hardcover Dr. Seuss. I'm just very excited to read this to this sleeping baby. He's wearing Mickey Mouse for Chelsea too. Yeah. Like you meant to lie. <laughs> Sweetie boy. That's very like sweet leave. boy. <laughs> Over 10, almost 10 years ago at the college program that uh, we'd be here right now. <laughs> Hold my baby. Crazy. Kinda did. <laughs> hey. What's up, Mr. Humbug? What's up, Mr. Scrooge? Are you calling our friend Scrooge? He's very... Oh, he's hungry. All right, Chelsea left to go have dinner with some friends. And Sarah made some tomato rice. And we got some refried beans and some salsa. And it's gonna be delicious. I'm so hungry, I could cry that I'm looking at this plate right now. Did you expect us to be leaving the house tonight? We had planned to go to Magic Kingdom. Um, we weren't sure if it was gonna happen. But we're on our way and I just saw Nathan post on this discussions discussion group. I'll link that group below because it's really great for park info that low level fireworks have been added to the castle during the projection transitions. My baby stirs, but that's really exciting. <laughs> Best parking spot ever. safely made it to the front of Main Street, sitting in front of the castle, and we're waiting for the castle projection scene to change, because apparently when the scene changes, a little bit of fireworks goes off, which I'm excited for James to experience, but James also fell asleep on the <laughs> way over. So, it'll but be- But it's still, he's, he'll still experience it. The and first one he will definitely experience. The second one he'll enjoy. Well, <laughs> the thing is, he's been really good with loud noises, aka our doggy. Um, so you never know. But more importantly, I think, Mary Poppins told us that if we need a nanny to let her know. To call her up. How amazing is that? <laughs> That was awesome. He is chilling, having a good time in Tomorrowland, his first his land. first time in Tomorrowland. I wish so bad that the people mover was going because right, it's an outdoor ride. Outdoor, like. Smooth sailing. We would take him, like I want to take him on Castle of Progress. I know he'd be content in there. Yeah, but, but we're, we're just, just not, not ready. Yeah, we're not ready. I, we already feel so much better about like controlling him and our environment three, like two weeks after his first visit when it comes to like maneuvering people in a safe manner. But just the indoor side, yeah, it's not we're yet. cleared for outdoor. It's just not yet. Not yet. I mean, it's it's nice how empty it is. Yeah. Welcome to Storybook Circus, James Ryan Brookard. Still chilling, having a good old time. I looked at Sarah and I did say, you know, Dumbo is open air and outside. And I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm nervous. <laughs> Look, should we take him on Dumbo? We're doing it. We're doing something big. Okay. This one. Okay. Oh! 
<laughs> We're about to do it. Oh my gosh. The castle moon were walking in was like, wait, first ride? And she was like, God, congratulations. Right this way, mom and dad. Can you believe it? I, I truly can't. <laughs> I really can't. Let's oh, see this gosh. sleepy kid. Oh, his eyes are open now. Here you oh, go. James, you're on your first ride. Right as nine o'clock hit and the park closes, James Ryan Brookhart. Same first, first. Same first ride as his cousin Violet. Oh my gosh. This also marks the very first time our bugaboo has sat in a stroller parking. Ooh. And I totally fumbled <laughs> when I like was over here and I'm like, where do I put it? And the cat's never It's on our first stroller parking. We've had plenty of friends and family with stroller parking. Right. But in you go! Oh my goodness! Oh, we got we joined the few on Oh gosh. Cinderella's hair. Cinderella's got garland up. We realized like we didn't make like a big stink about there being no dream lights, like the really magical Christmas lights that are usually up. But I like the garland. We've been trying to get to Liberty Square so that we can go in all of the lands. Just the last stroll through Liberty Frontier and Adventureland, but we get, keep getting cut off by cast members because the park is closed. So we're gonna see if we can finish our loop. Oh, is there gonna be fireworks? Ah. He is bright-eyed and he saw me. Look, he's looking right oh, at him. perfect. James, this is Liberty Square. Woo. All we gotta do is cross the Mississippi. And we and, made it. And we could easily bypass and then get out through Adventureland, but we're gonna try to see if we can get all the way as far as Country Bear, hopefully. Try, yeah. Or even further to get to, to Pirates. James, this is where mommy used to work. As a cast member, and then when you're 19, if you wanna do this thing called Disney College Program, we'll help you. <laughs> now, this is some kind of feeling right here. This is living. James loved Frontierland. It was very cozy. Off into his last land. Into Adventureland. We did it! Okay, it looks like we're back home. You're the sweetest pup in the land. Did you know that? Also, here are my two friends, hanging out. Have you guys ever seen this show? I have no idea what it's called. They don't have it. It's like Pitmaster show on Netflix. <laughs> we got roped into it. We almost didn't go to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, we almost didn't go to Magic Kingdom. And said so we were going to watch this, which would have been great, but we had a pretty magical night. Now, Sarah's going to hang out here and edit the vlog tonight. So I don't have to tomorrow. So tomorrow's just food, eating, relaxing, and snuggling. But I'm going to go on a run right now, and we might give him a bath tonight. If not, we'll do it in the morning. This show is actually called the American Barbecue Showdown. Of all the places Evie could sit, she chose right next to Jamesy. <gasps> what did he just say? I have to stop watching it, though, because I'm getting hungry, and that's not good at 11 o'clock at night. Um... We did open up one of the dips that we got for Thanksgiving earlier. So I think I'm gonna have a little bit of that and start editing that way. Tomorrow I can just enjoy the day full force. And I might as well just do the daily message while I'm over here. If the only prayer you said was thank you, that would be enough. Meister Eckhart. Evie, 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 settle down. She wants my chippies. Look at that face. Oh. 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 O
taking a pit stop that I usually don't take. Went a different route because we need some things from Publix. And we had too much fun with James and Magic Kingdom. So, whoa, missed that deal. Shoot, I thought they'd have holiday hours, but right there it says it's closed on holidays. That makes, that makes me think it's gonna be closed tomorrow. So, I have to get creative. Target should be open. I don't know if it's got LinkedIn notifications always hitting me up at 11.30 at night for those job postings. All right, well, that was a bust and I went off my route and it's gonna mess with my vibe. But, glad I went and I didn't come searching in the morning. We did it. We both completed our tasks. It's way too late. Way too late, but. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. It's actually today. <laughs> But Eve's ready for bed even. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>